Okay, starting the day off with some breakfast tacos from my local convenience store. It's actually at a gas station, but obviously I don't need to stop for gas. Just on my way into work this morning and wanted to do a video today about something, one of my favorite features of electric vehicles, and that's something called regenerative braking. So if you haven't heard of regenerative braking before, it's a really cool feature that uh, revolves around the brakes, uh, you might imagine. And it has to do with the ability for when you're coasting, coming to a stop, or applying the brakes for any reason, you actually are able to regenerate uh, electrical energy um, from, the from the momentum of stopping, and it goes back into your battery, giving you more energy. So we're coming down to a four-way stop right now, and I'm regenerating a little bit of power back into my battery every time I do this. And there's different ways uh, that you can use it to your advantage, but basically the idea is that every time you take your foot off the accelerator, regenerative braking is going to be engaged to some degree. So the way it works is that you've got your electric motor, which is obviously propelling you forward when you press down on the accelerator, but when you take your foot off the accelerator, the regenerative braking is engaged right away. And how this works is that the electric motor that's been spinning going forward actually reverses in the opposite direction. So now the momentum of your car moving forward up against the electric motor now going backwards as you take your foot off the accelerator creates kinetic energy and that energy is then channeled back into your battery and extending your range a little further. Now it's not a significant difference. At most I'll see uh, my percentage uh, of my battery left and the most I've ever seen it go up is 1%. But this happens several times uh, in the course of a day. So by the end of it, you're probably getting back 10 to 20% of your battery capacity simply by, like I said, taking your foot off and coasting to a stoplight. You get even more when you actually have to apply the brakes to come to a complete stop at a four-way stop. Um, or going downhill is always really great when you've got a good amount of speed but you can take your foot off the accelerator completely. It gets a lot of energy built up through the regenerative brakes and sends it back into your battery. And again, it's really cool to look down. This is the only type of vehicle you'd never see this in, you know, a gas vehicle. You actually are getting more fuel, per se, uh, simply by coasting like I am right now to this red light. So now that you understand how regenerative braking works, uh, why don't we kind of take a look at how you engage this mode. And the only thing I have to base it off of is how it works in the Nissan LEAF. So down here we have our shifter, which is a funky looking computer mouse style. I like it. It's kind of a futuristic and just different look, but um, have a drive, a neutral and a reverse. And if we look at the digital display we have on our dashboard, we'll see a bunch of what look like bubbles across the top and there's a white dot inside some of these bubbles. So the white bubbles going to the right are showing you how much energy you're using to uh, drive and propel yourself forward. But to the left, there's four bubbles and these are your regenerative braking indicator bubbles and they'll actually fill in with a green circle when their regenerative braking is engaged and that just lets you know how intense, how much regeneration you're actually getting. So when you're in drive, the regenerative braking is already engaged, it's just at a very light sensitivity. So if I take my foot off the accelerator, I'll get a little bit of regenerative braking, but not as much as I could if I switch down to this B mode that you see down here next to the shifter. So the B mode stands for brake, it just intensifies that regenerative braking effect. I take my foot off the brake and I can feel, it's almost like the brakes are being applied even though I'm not touching the brake pedal at all and it's bringing the car to a stop because again, that electric motor is now spinning in the opposite direction and it's working against the momentum of my car going forward, building up energy that would normally be wasted on traditional brakes on a, on a gas vehicle. You know, we, the brakes are still working the same way and when the brake pads engage with the rotors on a traditional gas vehicle, the energy is created, but it just 
dissipates into the air as heat, so it's just wasted energy. As usual, electric cars are more efficient in basically every aspect, so it's really cool to me that the energy is not being wasted, and it's energy you would use anyway. You have to come to a stop, you know, a lot during the course of a driving day, and I think it's just a neat feature that we can actually recapture uh, what would normally just be lost energy back into the battery. So again, I said, it's not a substantial difference. You're not going to double your range. You're not going to capture as much energy back every time you come to a stop as you used propelling yourself that distance in the first place. But it's just cool that you get anything back at all. So like I said, in a gas vehicle, you never wind up with more gas in your tank. But with an electric vehicle, you do wind up with more charge in your battery than you previously had before you came to a stop. And if you want to intensify it even further, you can switch your driving mode to Eco. And Eco is what I drive in most of the time, not always with B mode engaged, but Eco is just a way to maximize your range in general. But when you combine the Eco mode with the braking mode, that's when you get the most regeneration possible. It also sucks all the performance out of your car though. So if you like the sporty, torquey feel of an electric vehicle, basically going into the eco mode and the highest regenerative braking mode is going to kind of disable that fun aspect of an electric vehicle because now you don't have that torque. But I like to drive as efficiently as possible so it doesn't bother me to be in eco mode and B mode all at once. Again, I'm recapturing the most energy when I use the combination of those two modes. So that's just a quick overview of regenerative braking. Again, I think it's a really cool feature because this actually maximizes your range. And I just think it's the coolest thing when you look on your dash and see your battery indicator actually going up uh, each time you go down a hill or come to a stop. It doesn't happen every time, but it happens, like I say, several times a day. And it's just cool to know that you're actually recapturing lost energy. And again, I like electric vehicles because they're extremely efficient. And this is just one of those features that demonstrates the greater efficiency of an electric vehicle over a standard internal combustion engine car. So stick around for more videos, got more stuff coming your way. We have a Facebook page now. Uh, I post on there a lot more than I post videos on YouTube. So if you wanna see articles and uh, just general news about EVs, please check it out. It's in the description box below. Follow the link there and I'll see you in the next video.